A column of 33 bones called vertebrae compose the spine and function to protect the spinal cord from injury. Four regions make up the spine. The cervical spine in the neck, the thoracic spine in the upper back where ribs are present, lumbar spine in the lower back, and sacral spine in the hip and buttock. Spinal stenosis is the narrowing of the spinal canal or foramina, which can compress the spinal cord or nerves. Stenosis can cause pain, numbness, and muscle weakness. Stenosis most often occurs in the cervical and lumbar regions of the spine, which often reveal symptoms in arms or legs. For lumbar spinal stenosis, spinal specialists may recommend a laminectomy or a partial hemilaminectomy. These procedures entail the full or partial removal of a piece of the vertebrae called the lamina, which can give more room to the spinal cord or nerve roots to move within the sheath. During a laminectomy or a partial hemilaminectomy, the surgeon will make an incision in the patient's lower back or back of the neck. By gently pulling the muscles aside, the specialist can expose the spine. The surgeon will remove scar tissue, fragments, and bone spurs which may press and irritate nerves. In some cases, physicians also perform spinal fusion of the vertebrae to stabilize the treated section. Hardware, bone autograft, or donor allograft can be utilized to stabilize the region as the new bone grows over time. The surgeon will confirm that the compression is neutralized and then begin closing procedures.